Hey guys, so it's been quite some time, so I do apologise. Um, life has just been in the way and other things, um, hopefully getting through those. And so I was looking to try and reboot things and um, take off and see where we are at the, with the power wall. Um, I made the foolish decision before winter to power everything down um, because some of the voltages were getting to um, pretty low levels. Now, what I should have done is maybe left it going, rigged up some kind of temporary solar panel uh, because the main panels at the back of the house get shaded um, just to keep it kind of topped up or even plugged it into the, the mains with some kind of charger to keep it topped up. And I did not do that. And as a consequence, um, pack number 28 on my list, because um, it starts from 24 on the BMS, 28 got ridiculously low. Um, around a volt or under, I believe. Um, and some of the others were two point something and, and such like. So what I resorted to was individually charging the packs with um, which is feeble, but one of the TP4056s that works with uh, up to three amps. Just did some small clock loud clips and decent gauge wire and slowly trickle charged most of them, um, the individual packs back this guy was particularly stubborn. Um, as it's made up of four individual components, modules, I took those apart and as in disconnected them from the pack, hooked them up individually and I managed to force it back into life. But th this guy sitting about 3.8 volts and the others are sitting um, a lot higher in the four volt range. One of them has managed to bump itself up to 4.3, which was worrying as well. So what I've done is I've put the inverter on, gonna pull that down. Um, the BMS itself, I had a bit of a wrestle and struggle with to, to get going again, but I've got that going again. Um, it was a case of just messing around with the cables. I bought some new, shorter, pre-made cables, um, which I'm hoping will be a bit more reliable for the comms and the boards. Um, I have had them drop off the odd time in the, the week or two weeks I've had it up and running again. So I maybe just need to keep a close eye on that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it to equalize for anything that's above three volts and see if I can get the pack back into it. I think 28 is going to be an issue. Um, and I maybe one of these modules is bringing the other ones down. Um, so maybe three of them are fine, one's not, and it's, it's pulling that voltage down. So I think I'm going to have to take this apart and then look at that again. I have toyed with the idea of basically pulling everything apart, um, getting all the individual cells out and then retesting everything um, and going through that whole arduous procedure again. But maybe he's doing it, um, I might probably lose a few cells, so maybe he's 80p instead of 96p. Um, and then maybe he's doing the pre-done um, or the pre-manufactured holders that are quite popular, um, like I said, Pete and DIY Powerwall have used, and make up some packs using that way in the, the thicker bus bars. Paul Kennett's design's brilliant, um, and works really well, but as I've scaled it up, I, it was never really designed to scale up to 96p, um, and that maybe needs to be re revisited. I think as far as the gauge of the wire and everything, and the loads I'm putting on it are, are pretty fine, and um, there's nothing dangerous there, but, if I want to do anything more serious, inverter-wise or draw-wise, um, I need to really start looking at that. Um, so things are going to start up again with the channel. Um, I'm on the MakerCast um, this evening. Hopefully I get this video out in time. Um, and that's with a, a lot of like-minded people. Um, Brian Locke, Bit Looney, um, Blitz, DIY, um, and Stephen Ludgate um, are going to be there as well. So that's going to be fun. I already watched a few episodes, so I'm the new boy. So that'll be uh, good fun. Um, and I hope to catch people there later on as well. Um, but like I say, as far as going forward, I'm going to try and get things going again. I've got a few project ideas. I've actually purchased three new solar panels, um, 300 watts each. The idea is to have them mounted directly on the garage roof here um, and get those hooked up. And that'll give a, around about a, a 900 watts of power which fits just under the limits of the charge controller I've got, but that'll give a, a really good usable amount of power. Um, and that'll mean during the day, I should get enough to charge the power wall, 
probably power the house because my usage during the day is pretty low um, and then keep that pack topped up so then for a few hours into the evening um, I can be pretty much uh, free and using the electricity I've got um, in the power wall. So that, that's the plan going forward. Um, I hope people have stuck around for the journey um, and any new subscribers, thank you very much because I did have a little splurge lately with the, um, the shout out from Great Scott which was fantastic and very nice of him. So yeah, so stay tuned. Things will come, I promise. Um, thanks very much.